Hello, everybody. Hey, I'm Dave. And I'm Creaky. And this is six. That's six. We're back in Little Nightmares. It's scary. But we're here. Last time we escaped from the prison. And now it's time to... Uh, go to Ziwataneho, I guess. Hey, guy, were you in here doing some paperwork? Oh. What? Is there a lore dump in that desk anywhere? No. No? There are no lore dumps. There's no lore in this game. I mean, there is, but it's all vague. And it's very vague. Um, speculative. And kind of dumb. Kind of dumb! <laughs> Hey everybody, it's a dumb game. Okay, no, I didn't mean it like that. <laughs> I love this game, but <laughs> it's not like a you don't you just kind of have to like interpret stuff, infer. I've got my own interpretation for how I think kind of maybe this works. All right. But most of it relies on the second game, so View the babies. <laughs> oh. Look at them. Also babies. Just, just hanging out. Oh, there's a person in there. Yeah, there's the chef. House. House? Wait yeah. a minute. Is this a ship or what? Yes. Creepy broken mirrors. Hmm. Alright then, cool. Alright, that's a lot of weird stuff. It is a weird ship. Oh man, I have no idea where that gnome went. Took off. Back to the prison. Oh, there you oh, are. There he is. Don't fall off. I'm trying not to. This is the kind of game, like, if I played this, I would be falling off about 50% of the time. Yeah. You're doing real, real good. <laughs> It's mostly probably because I know what I'm doing. Yeah. Hug, hug, hug. I'm infinitely better at games that I've played before. <laughs> I thought you were going to say I'm infinitely better at games than you are. <laughs> Which might be true. I mean, you know. Oh. This is one of my favorite rooms in the game. Oh, yeah. Because it really throws... It just makes everything look so weird. Yeah. This is what I was talking about, where the sense of scale in Little Nightmares is just kind of funky. Wonky, yeah. Very Tim Burton. Like a, I don't even know how to describe that thing. It's like an it's, eyeball inside an ear. Yeah. Which I guess might hey. be a hint as to how the janitor works. Oh, Murphy bed. I think that's what those are called. Bounce, bounce. You jump even higher if you knew what's slapping there. I can't see past uh, Pit Boy's head. Yeah. <laughs> I'll have to take a photo and put that in so people know what the hell I'm talking about. Yeah, it's we we've got a a little statue of Pit Boy in the corner. 
in front of the TV. Yeah. Um, like still a bunch of other stuff from Dad's office. Look at that. Look at that handsome fella. Is that the janitor guy? Yeah, that's Roger. Okay. Which, by the way, I didn't I didn't just pull that name out of my out of nowhere. Uh, <laughs> he actually does have a name tag on the model that says Roger. Oh. And he's like the only person who has a normal human name. <laughs> if you want to call him a person. Yeah. It's uh, you know. I knew there was something up here. Teeny little toilet paper rolls. Ugh. <laughs> Screw you, statue of woman. Listen, I don't like that lady. Is she a bad lady? She's a bad lady. She's a bad lady. Yeah. You couldn't really see it earlier. We'll get to see the janitor in better light later. Blech. But even his his proportions are super wonky too. Yeah, I could already kind of tell. <laughs> He's got real extremely like long arms, like a bobblehead, teeny tiny little legs, and then just kind of a normal torso. Torso. The old torso. Toyota torso. <clears throat> Put the key in the electrical socket. I can't even see what you're doing, it's so dark. Okay. Oh, hey, look, it's those monkeys that no one likes. Yeah. Whenever I find one in Fallout 4, I immediately knock its head off. Awful, awful little creatures. Stop that. I said stop that. Meh. Oh, I never noticed there's little water ripples. Yeah. Oh, right. Okay, wait. <laughs> I know I said some some stuff, monkey, but I do actually I need your help. <laughs> Come here. You gotta push another button. <laughs> You're not done. Not over there. You do go down in an elevator. Yeah. This is weird. Oh no. Oh. Got the phage. What's happening? We're just, you know, we're hungry. Dying? Oh, okay. She was like. Coughing. Yeah, I don't know what that's about. I have... Like I said, I have theories about how the... Whatever this is works. But most of it has to do with... Stuff that happens in the second game. Is the hunger scripted? Yeah. Okay. Quick, get one of those rats. Ah, it's fine, there's me. It's a little child. That's uncomfortable. <laughs> you don't hear that when you get hungry? Oh. Ah! Uh, Roger has taken us. No! It's fine. Roger's, Roger's a great dad. Roger! Child to Roger. All right. Well, so uh -huh. all of this. Climb up 
the face of those. Hey. Hey, uh... You want, you want to help? Gotta do some swing. Yay! Anyway, have fun. Uh... Yeah, bye. Sorry I left you to your death or whatever. It's fine. We'll be fine. Or impending whatever Roger does with you. I'm sure it's totally wholesome. Oh look, a, a guillotine. Gui great, little baby guillotines. Mm. Thank you, conveniently mm. placed towels. Mm. There he is. Is he blind? Yes. Um, uh, it appears to be that the, the skin from the top of his head is just kind of rolled over. Yeah, that's uncomfortable. Oh, no. That's why he wears the hat. Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. Anyway... Go real, real quiet. You hear nothing. Go away, go away, go away. There's a pancake buffet downstairs. Hurry. Roger, get out. Go to the pancakes. <laughs> you reach through there? Uh. Bye, Roger. <laughs> uh, uh. No, bad times. Bad times. Bad times. Bye, right, Roger. Oh, shoes. Shoes. <laughs> you know, Nick's always talking about how he loves it when we're scared. This is way scarier than Dark Souls. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Oh, it's a shoe collection. Yeah. Can you be on the shoes? You're in the shoes, okay. It's like a ball pit. Oh no, oh no, oh no. It's the Dianoga. What's in there? No one knows. What's in there? Shoe monster. I didn't know where I was going. Oh I no! Have no one with the shoes. You are now a shoe. <laughs> it made you into a shoe. Oh, there it is. It's in the corner. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Hey, what's 
Maybe if I die enough, it'll get full. Reminds me of the story I read once about, uh, I don't know, it's weird. It's this Harlan Ellison story. And it's about, like, it's this kind of far future. And, um, there's these sort of tyrannical guys. They're like these princes. And they're being overthrown. The story comes in kind of at the end of all of that. And like the last one is uh, going to escape through a, a time portal that this scientist guy makes for him. The scientist guy assures him that he's going back to the dinosaur times, but all the dinosaurs in the area are herbivores. And he'll be fine. And so he goes back in time and there's the big dinosaurs and he looks up. And it's, you know, one of the big long necks, like a brachiosaur or something. And uh, he's like, oh, okay, that's fine. And then the Brachiosaur bends down and starts chomping on him. And the, the narration, you know, is like, Brachiosaur's brain sees a new thing, isn't sure what it is. So it chews on it a little bit, and decides it's not a plant. You know what? That's fair. <laughs> Maybe this thing doesn't actually want to eat you, it wants to eat shoes. But it doesn't know that you're not a shoe yet. It has plenty of shoes. Yay! Haha, -ha, shoe Dianoga. Roger. What are you doing creeping around up there? He's just doing, you know, spider monkey man things. situation. Uh, what's going on there? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, gnomes. Your sacrifice is appreciated. Seemed like the natural place to go. No, I'm sorry. It's, I wasn't even talking about it. Souls under the floor. <clears throat> oh, cool. Clank, 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 clank. 
Oh no! Let's get him. It's high. Even he can't reach up this high. Clever hobbits to climb so high. I think. in these tiny little tunnels. Yeah, see? This place is weird. <laughs> How did you get in here so fast? There's more than one of him. No, oh, there are. Roger, too. What in... Sp okay, so... Spiky bits. Roger, too. Roger, Roger. <laughs> Run. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Shoe. Shoe on button. Run. Ah! It actually kind of provides cover for you. Yeah. Like they're making a lot of noise. He's not going to hear you. Towels. See. And the towels. Oh. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Ah. The archives. What knowledge might we discover? And the piano. Uh, the hanging piano of Babylon. Didn't even know they had those. <laughs> I thought I could make it. <laughs> I couldn't. Crunch. Six. No. You. Okay. Six. Is there like a little six on the coat that I haven't seen? No. Pretty sure we only know that's their name because of like promotional materials and stuff. Uh, okay. And I'm like, generally, I'll talk about it more at the ending, but we agree on the general meaning of why they're named that. Like an Eve Six situation. I don't. You don't know what that is. Yeah. Sorry. It's so okay. I don't like how he sort of like gently descends. <laughs> from you know, wherever he is. <laughs> <laughs> I never realized it before, but he moves kind of like a spider monkey. Or a spider, just... No, no, no. If you've ever seen the way a spider monkey looks, it's it's like Roger, but with Harry. Yeah. Was that a little crankshaft hole there? Yeah. Six, why did you do that? Cause you told me to, Creaky. With your fingers. Six, shut up. Oh, on his head. <laughs> Who's throwing monkeys at me? Fuck. <laughs> Got what you deserved. <laughs> Throw a monkey on that poor guy's head. I told you, he's a spider monkey. I'm letting him be with his brethren. Yeah. 
Roger, I got a block for you. Touch that TV, Roger. Oh, there's a candle. Should you light that? Yeah. Maybe. I don't let's know let's I put candles to next to all the books. Just wow. sitting there. I saw this video on Facebook this morning. I get these videos that are like, watch this person make this cool thing. And uh, they, it was like going through this whole process of making like a handmade leather bound book. And like, you know, really old style, old school. The piano, piano please swing the other way. Come on piano. Oh. And they get all the way through it, right? With all, and they're like beautifully made and crafted. And then they start writing in, and it is like to do list. <laughs> it's like, come on. <laughs> you just put your freaking to do list on this beautifully crafted tome. Steam bad? I think so. It's weird because that's where we're playing from. I know. <laughs> this is a direct insult to Gabe. Mm -hmm. You can't reach that. Uh, oh, okay. Minecart situation. Indeed. I'm not entirely sure, but I think the boat rocking might do stuff sometimes. Well, sure, it did earlier. It had the yeah janitor bucket and the the piano. Yeah, it's not like always there, but please. All right, all right, running start. There you Yay. go. Oh, door am open. This is very unsafe. Well, this is like at least two well, OSHA violations. At least two. OSHA in the ocean. Hey. Does OSHA... Does OSHA jurisdiction extend to international waters? I don't see why it would. Well, the international waters is outside the jurisdiction of the United States. It was a joke. Oh. I'll it's be honest, I thought OSHA was a... Nope. It's global. Or it's it's not global. Roger. Quit sticking your hand in the pipes, Roger. Stop grasping. Grasp too much. Jeez, Roger. Did you just twist your head off? What was that? Maybe? I don't know. <gasps> mm. 
Uh, oh, put your arms away. Oh, okay, we start here. You'll never find me. Did you just cut his arms off? Yep. Uh, now we have noodles to play with. Oh uh, no! <laughs> it's fine. He'll be fine. Back. Does he get new ones? Uh, oh, he might. We never see him again. Oh, really? It's the end of Roger. For us. The lair. Ugh. Little lost things sometimes find their way home. <sighs> okay, well. That was nerve wracking. Yeah. But anyway. Tune in next time to see whose arms we cut off next. And remember. You. Subscribe. You, you right there. Subscribe. <laughs> yeah. I love that I can do this. <laughs> Every game should have a button that just lets the character point directly at the screen. Point directly at the screen. Hey, you. All right. Thanks for, thanks for watching. See you later. Take care. Bye. <laughs>